Beauty is only skin deep. We all know that the appearance on the outside is not a true reflection of how you are on the inside. But what if it was? Before we start, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss our latest upload. In today's episode of Unusual As Usual, we're going to look into the macabre world of Zombie Boy, aka Rick Janet. <laughs> Rick Janet was born on the 7th of August 1985 in Quebec, Canada. Growing up, he lived in a small town and often felt that he didn't fit in in school. He wasn't a jock, he wasn't a nerd or a prep, so naturally he sort of gravitated to the goth subculture and the macabre. At a young age, he began to regularly black out and by the time he was 15, he had been diagnosed with a brain tumour on the left side of his brain. As a result, he spent more than six months on a waiting list for surgery. The surgery was completed with minimal complications, but the time that he spent waiting gave him time to reflect and contemplate his life and possible death. Rico, as he was known by his friends, not only thought about who he was, but also thought about the person that he wanted to become. By the time he was 17, he had become fully engrossed into the punk rock scene and lived on the streets. He and his friends would sleep under bridges, squat in empty houses, and generally live a chaotic and carefree life, washing cars to earn just enough money to get by. Drugs, alcohol, music, and tattoos were common counterparts to the punk rock movement, and Rico fully embraced the culture. He began his transformation into Zombie Boy no different than any other person with tattoos. It started with just one small tattoo a skull and crossbones on his arm, and gradually he added the odd miscellaneous tattoo whenever he got the urge. That was until he turned 21, when he met a tattoo artist called Frank Lewis. As Rico put it, Lewis was the mastermind behind the skeletal motif, a macabre, rotting corpse-like full bodysuit. By this time, he had accumulated 14 tattoos in total and the pair quickly started work designing the tattoo that would incorporate a select few of his existing artworks while simultaneously covering up others, all while transforming Rico into a skeleton figure complete with bugs, cobwebs, barbed wire, rotting flesh and tendons. The process took three years and by 2008 his tattooed bodysuit was largely completed and he was approached by Bizarre Magazine who reached out to him through social media wanting to do a feature on him. By this time, Zombie Boy's photos had been popping up in tattoo magazines and websites which led to his first acting role in the 2009 television film Carney. Zombie Boy played the small role of a sideshow tattooed man who performed alongside fire eaters, contortionists, strongmen and more. Credit to him, he has limited screen time but he seems to have thrown himself into the project with full commitment and his acting actually is not bad. He got on well with the other actors, many of which came from a sideshow background, and they took him under their wing, teaching him various skills such as snake charming, laying on a bed of nails, the human blockhead, and more, before inviting him to join their sideshow as a full-time performer. Just one year later, after Carney had heard, and Zombie Boy was once again approached, this time by a French fashion designer Thierry Mugler for his autumn winter men's collection. This was quickly followed up with his iconic appearance in Lady Gaga's music video for Born This Way, where she wore makeup to replicate his tattoos. This brought Zombie Boy to the forefront of pop culture, with his image being pumped into houses through TVs around the world and soon led to him working in Paris, New York, Hong Kong and Milan as a fully fledged model. Ironically, up until this point, he hadn't actually been able to get himself a passport. He began using his newfound fame to speak out against bullying and to advocate the acceptance of other people's differences. In 2011, Zombie Boy was featured in a campaign by the makeup company Dermablend, where he appeared in a video covered in their concealer product. He then proceeds to remove portions of the makeup, starting with the center of his chest, to reveal his tattoo underneath. 
The video then showed the process of applying the cover-up played in reverse. The commercial success of this campaign led to a two-year endorsement contract with L'Oreal, making him their very first ever male spokesperson. That same year, he received two Guinness World Records for his tattoos. One for the greatest number of bones tattooed on the body with 139 bones and most insects tattooed on the body with 176 insects, which were verified on the set of Lo Show di Record in Milan, Italy on the 27th of April, 2011. After filming, Zombie Boy actually joked about missing out on a potential third Guinness World Record this time for the most individual cobwebs tattooed on the body, saying that he just forgot to mention it. 2012 was a busy year for Zombie Boy as he appeared in the music video Sabotage by Honey. He had a Zombie Boy limited edition figure created in his likeness. He appeared at the San Diego Comic Con where he took photos with people and signed certificates of authenticity of the dolls as Rico the Zombie and he became the face of Jay-Z's fashion label, Rockaware. He also got involved with the court case. Regular viewers will undoubtedly already be aware of the TV show American Horror Story, but this time we're not talking about series four, Freak Show, we're talking about series two, Asylum. Because in 2012, Zombie Boy launched a copyright claim against Fox to do with a scene in which a student played by Evan Peters dons extremely similar looking makeup and goes on a shooting rampage in a high school before committing suicide. The case was settled out of court for an undisclosed sum. Fast forward a year and Zombie Boy landed a role in the 2013 Hollywood film 47 Ronin alongside Keanu Reeves. Zombie Boy was featured heavily in the marketing for the film, but ultimately, most of his scenes were left on the cutting room floor to allow for Keanu Reeves' character to become the main focal point of the story. Around this time, he also acted in several short films, such as Aquario, Enforcedian Fashion, and Love at Last Sight, as well as what can be considered his greatest acting role at least from a technical standpoint, in a two-part episode of the TV show Silent Witness, where he played the role of El Buitre, the Vulture. He also appeared in the music video Bad Boy by Sika and as a celebrity mentor in the TV show The Fashion Hero. He was also sculpted by artist Mark Quinn. The 11 and a half foot tall bronze statue titled The Self-Conscious Gene depicts Zombie Boy holding the Encyclopedia of Anatomy and is currently on display in the London Science Museum. At this point in time, it seems that Zombie Boy returned back to his roots and his love of music, working with ex-Happy Monday guitarist Cav on the single Dirty Rejects and ex-Rob Zombie guitarist Riggs on a full studio album, but his music career was unfortunately cut short. Uh, Zombie Boy. About Jeanette's death. Zombie Boy. Rick Jeanette, better known as Zombie Boy, died Wednesday night at the age of 32. On the 1st of August, 2018, Rick Jeanette was found dead outside his apartment complex six days before his 33rd birthday. Lady Gaga was quick to offer her condolences, but ultimately received some flack for wrongfully assuming he committed suicide after she tweeted, the suicide of my friend Rick Janet, zombie boy, is beyond devastating. It was concluded that Janet died from head trauma after falling from his fourth floor balcony and landing on the pavement below. He had high levels of alcohol in his system along with traces of cannabis, but no evidence of suicidal intent. I'd like to end this episode with a few words from Zombie Boy himself, from a TEDx talk which he gave in Austria a year before his accidental death. Uh, will we blend in or stand out? Who cares? <laughs> that, my friends, is the question. So in conclusion, if I may, and I quote the late Arthur Charles Adams, normal is an illusion. What is normal for the spider is chaos to the fly. Take anything out of context and watch your perception change. Our environment is what defines what is to be considered the normality, as we are each our own living proof of that. Thank you. And there we have it. 
the macabre world of zombie boy Rick Jenner. Despite his love of the dark and macabre, and never being afraid to publicly show it, he somehow managed to charm hearts across different walks of life. From films and TV, music, live shows, and even the catwalk. How about you? Where did you first hear about Zombie Boy? Let me know in the comment section below, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's all we've got time for today, but I'll see you all next week, and remember, stay unusual as usual. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like this one too. If you want to see more modified marvels, you can check out the full playlist by clicking here. Don't forget to ring that bell to make sure you don't miss out on next week's video. And if you have any ideas on what the next episode should be about, make sure you add it to the comment section below.